Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I am wearing my Star Wars Rogue replica. I got myself this thing for Christmas, and I am wearing it on New Year's Eve so I can come to New Year as a Sith. It is made to look exactly like the one I found. Unfortunately, it's sold out now, but I have seen some cheaper alternatives on eBay for like. $10. And these pretty creepy contact lenses were pretty cheap too. I got them for $25 on Camelot.com. So if you guys want to join the dark side with me, you know where to go. If you are new to my channel and you want to join the dark side, make sure to do that now by clicking on this floating subscribe button right here. Click on it. I'm gonna show you guys my progress on my Captain Phasma cosplay and some other really cool stuff. So let's just get right to it. Oh, I thought that was gonna be cooler than it was. <laughs> if you're a big Star Wars fan like I am, then you probably already know who Captain Phasma is. Everybody knew her as the Chrome Trooper. My first go to thing was definitely a Captain Phasma helmet because it's basically the most important part of the cosplay. I got this on Force Friday at the Disney store and it was only $25. It does not have a back, but my boyfriend and I are gonna fix that. We're gonna add a back and we're also gonna repaint this entire thing to make it look realistic. It has a voice changer and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that. I also got this thing and I'm just gonna wear this underneath the suit. It's just a morph suit. And a lot of Stormtroopers cosplayers do wear this underneath the suit. It's pretty comfortable and it fits me perfectly. I couldn't find one in my size, but I just went with a men's extra small and it fits perfectly. So if you're a 5'5, five five, men's extra small. <laughs> one second. Oh, I, I also have all this armor that actually used to be a knight costume. It looks pretty good, it looks realistic in a way, but I'm gonna modify it to make it look more like Captain Fasto's armor. Like these little pieces can just go on my thighs. I basically have less than a month to work on this cosplay. I did not decide until the last minute that I wanted to be Captain Phasma at Comic Con and for Halloween. I think this cosplay is gonna cost me less than 50 or 60 dollars. I wish I could have done more to this cosplay, but I have less than a month to do it. And painting is gonna take some time as well as redo these. <laughs> down here. Hopefully in the future I will be able to make a real cosplay with real armor, but for now this this will do. My boyfriend is a good painter, so he can make these look realistic and it's gonna look badass and you guys are gonna see that really soon. Don't underestimate the power of the dark side. So this is all I have right now. It's just the helmet and all the little bits and pieces of the armor and this pop suit. <laughs> I still have to get the paint and uh, the things for the back of the helmet. Um, I'm not sure what my boyfriend is going to do yet, but he says he has an idea of how he's going to paint it to make it look realistic. So that's going to be a lot of fun and I'll keep you guys updated to how it looks like. By the way, my boyfriend is visiting from England. He's coming to America and it's going to be his first time in America and he's just coming to see me. And so I did get him this big old box full of presents. It's just gonna be a late birthday type thing. And this is what's inside. And he hasn't he hasn't seen that painting actually. He, he has no idea about that. So it's gonna be spoilers. But I did tell him there was gonna be spoilers. So that's, that's just the painting that I, I painted while I was in church in Mississippi. And it just says, you're worth a lot to me. <laughs> and on the back, I just have a little note for him. But you guys don't need to see that. <laughs> and over here, it's just pretty much the main thing. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, my boyfriend is a huge Terminator fan. If you guys watch our GTA videos, he made his character look exactly like Terminator. So of course I had to get him this awesome replica jacket. It's also the 25th anniversary one, and it was made to look exactly like the one in the film. These are actually sold out right now, so this thing is pretty expensive. Here, let me take it out so I can show you guys what it looks like.
my boyfriend is actually a lot taller than I am, so this jacket is bigger than me. This jacket is so huge, it's a dress. <laughs> this is what it looks like on, at least on me anyway. Oh, uh, but it's, it's really hot inside this jacket, and I live in Texas, and yeah, it gets pretty hot out here. So I am... I'm gonna take this thing off before I die. <laughs> so I will let you guys in on some of the stuff that I did get on that he already knows about. Um, so he already knows about these Spider-Man comics. I got him three of them. And I've actually seen this one on eBay for like over a hundred. I don't know why. I get him that one and this one. I'm spoiled too much. Um, here's another one he already knows about. It's just a gorilla alien action figure. He loves aliens. And I actually got him something else alien in here that's way bigger and awesome. And he's just been looking for it. It's gonna be so exciting. Um, and I did get him some Star Wars stuff. I'm just covering that up so he doesn't know what it is. So if you guys do want to see an unboxing video, <laughs> my boyfriend and I are thinking of making an unboxing video for his little presents because I did get him <laughs> so many. It's like I actually get him something every time I think about him. Just like the other day when I got him this Kylo Ren shirt from Walmart. <laughs> oh, and I did get get uh, one for me too. It just looks like this. Star Wars. Come on, I wish you would focus. Oh, there we go. And speaking of presents, I also just got this thing in the mail. Focus. And it's just this palette that uh, one of my favorite YouTubers made. Her name's Carly. But um, she released this thing like last week, I believe. And it sold out pretty quick. So I am excited that I actually got to get this. Because the colors are so beautiful and I love doing my makeup. So this is going to be pretty exciting. <laughs> So yeah, oh and a uh, random little Django bed <laughs> floor. <laughs> He's actually supposed to go up here right next to Anakin. <laughs> I don't think I've ever shown you guys uh, my Star Wars collection, but I do collect Star Wars stuff and this is, I'm just gonna show you guys just a little bit of what I have. These are all inside the little display box. It looks like I have little Padme fighting Boba Fett right there. <laughs> uh, there's my walker. Do I do have this uh, Millennium Falcon thing that I found at the flea market, and I'm just gonna use it as a make a bag. I do have a lot of my figures here. Random blaster. <laughs> oh yes, and I got these uh, little gaming boxes for for my cards. I'm gonna put all my Magic the Gathering cards in here. <laughs> oh yeah, and I got this oh, <laughs> this little custom lightsaber hilt. And I do have a gigantic Millennium Falcon right there my lightsabers inside of it. I really need to clean all this mess up so I can show you guys some more proper collection. But there's the Inquisitor. That's who I named my YouTube channel after, the Inquisitor. <laughs> I got my costume right there. A bunch of figures and blasters up there bunch of figures up there. Oy. Oh boy. Actually up here was little Django. He's, he's right here. He's, he's supposed to go up there a little. Little Django bed right there. Focus it for you guys. Uh, but most of these are vintage.
over here I just keep my Marvel and DC characters and random Disney <laughs> gaming. Hello Enderman. It's just like a gaming show right here, like a Disney slash gaming show. <laughs> These are all my figures, and I have those really cool um, night lights. I'm gonna show you guys a picture right here of what they look like on. Really cool. I still don't have the batteries for the um, Captain America shield one because I got batteries for all of them but apparently Captain America shield was batteries were smaller so <laughs> but anyway uh, yeah that's that's just a little bit of my collection I'll show you guys a more more a uh, proper one <laughs> maybe later when I clean up all this mess <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I do realize that I don't have any proper vlogs out there that where you guys get to know me, like what I like and what what my life is like. So there you go, and I hope you guys enjoy it because it's a lot different than all my other vlogs that I've had out there. So let me know how you guys like it, and if you want to see more, make sure to hit that like button. But anyway, that is all for today, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye! So that is why I'm using no ray. But I'm gonna make it look badass and realistic, and hopefully in the future I'll be able to actually make a no. I basically have less than a month to do this. Oh my gosh! I'm filming a video and my cat wants to come in. No. She's gonna open the door. I basically have less than a month to do this video. <laughs> I blame Ray.